dear friends welcome to infos welcome to oil and gas training series as usual this is my 48th video compressor 45 in this video we are discussing about auxiliary systems in centrifugal compressor we are studying centrifugal compressor auxiliary system means mainly seal oil lubrication system and cooling system the main auxiliary systems associated with a centrifugal compressor are seal oil lubrication system and cooling system let us see one by one uh, how we can uh, uh, understand this one how it is uh, providing the efficiency of the compressor safety of the compressor maintaining equipment uh, uh, well-being so let us uh, see how it is working in some centrifugal compressor system seal oil and lubricating oil are supplied from a common source so first we will take it a lubrication system all rotating equipment must have a lubrication system for some form or another so it is a, a not static equipment rotating equipment moving parts are there so we need lubrication system compressors are uh, no exception the lubricant performs following functions understanding that one separate it is separate the moving parts move two moving parts together metal to metal contact to separating that one removes heat generated by friction reduces metal wear removes uh, dirt debris uh, removes wear material dirt and debris provides sealing action protect metal surface from corrosion Compressors, uh, compressor parts are built to fit with very little clearance. The shaft must be free from free to rotate, but not vibrate radially. It should rotate, but it should not move radially. Or like this. Bearings are used to support the weight of the shaft and impellers and prevent them from vibrating radially. Without a lubricant, the bearing surface would wear out quickly. Oil is supplied to bearings through main machined holes and grooves. The oil forms a film between the rotating shaft and the bearing that separate them. This reduces heat, uh, friction and heat. <coughs> Moreover, some heat is generated and the lubricant must carry it away. To you, uh, reuse it, or the, uh, reuse this oil, I lubricant, it must be cooled clean and repressurized oil pump is uh, oil is pumped from the reservoir to the filter where dirt and particles are removed clean oil flows under pressure to each bearing where it removes heat of friction it then flows to a cooler to remove that remove the heat it is picked up the bearings and then to the then to the reservoir and recirculated Machine failure can occur if the lube oil stops flowing. Metal spalt, uh, pa parts will touch. If there is no oil film to separate them, friction of fast moving metal to metal contact quickly build up heat enough to melt bearings and shaft. Shaft scissor or it will jam or uh, it will damage, it will cause a shutdown and major repair. So, this is the lube oil system uh, uh, symbol uh, diagram. So, it is, uh, this is the lube oil reservoir, uh, you can say lube oil tank, you can say. So, from this one, it is the uh, lube oil is taking to uh, running and standby pump. So, that is, we call it is a lube oil pump and it is connected to various uh, filter and cooler system. There is filtering and cooler system for to maintain, keep the lube oil is clean and uh, below low temperature, so set point temperature. We need cooled, uh, cooled uh, cold lube oil uh, in normal temperature lube oil into the compressor uh, uh, moving parts. So, it, then only it can provide that required services. So, that, 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 that is here. Filters and other things are here. Then it is uh, moving to entering to the gearbox and uh, other uh, facilities, uh, other moving parts in the compressor, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that only it is entering. 
and it is doing, once it is uh, doing, done it is service and it is uh, releasing from outside the other side and return back to uh, reservoir, uh, lube, oil, lube oil tank. So various uh, controls and instrumentations provided here for uh, uh, maintaining a smooth circulation and the efficient operation of a lube oil system. Uh, temperature you can see level uh, lube oil level they can checking lube oil uh, temperature they are checking lube oil level you can see from outside and pump discharge pressure it is uh, uh, taking care uh, pressure uh, alarm high and uh, safety relief valve is there temperature also in the discharge head before the filter after the filter also temperature checking after the heat exchanger this is the heat exchanger cooling system there also it is checking uh, temperature high is there temperature indicator is there then a series of filters are there and the differential pressure transmitters across the filter is there. These are the main informations uh, instrumentation connected for the safeguarding the lube oil system to protect the compressor. Then uh, again uh, pressure switch is there in the discharge pressure of a lube oil system to maintain make sure that it is entering to the compressor moving parts uh, uh, perfectly. So that is also there and other uh, some instrumentations are connected. So lube oil system safety and safeguard already discussed but even though I will read it that instrumentation of lube oil system changes depending on how complicated the system is high pressure or low pressure or hazardous or safe gas and type of driver. The following is the general details I can, we can discuss uh, one is uh, oil, oil heating element this is in the lube oil storage tank is usually electric but can be heating coils or circulating heating medium. A thermostat is turned on the when the oil temperature is falls below the operating set point. The heater keeps the lubricant warm in cold temperature and vaporizes condensation in the seal system. Low level switches are there. I discussed that one. Uh, we have to maintain a minimum oil level in the reservoir or lube oil tank that uh, then only we can otherwise uh, uh, we cannot uh, keep a sufficient circulation pressure and uh, uh, fluoride. So recycle valve is there oil pump are oversized to make sure enough flow. This valve senses too much flow either by measurement by pressure or uh, and recycle to the reservoir another one. And differential pressure DP instruments. Uh, these are devices to measure difference between two pressure and send a signal to indicator and alarm of shutdown devices, filters should have uh, some DP instruments even if only a couple of pressure gauge, AP DP instrument reading the differential pressure across each bearing is useful. Side glasses another one, oil temperature controller, oil temperature maintaining that one. So oil, uh, once it is oil, oil temperature is high, maybe it will take a shutdown the compressor. Auxiliary pump instruments, sense failure of the main oil pump, quickly start the second and third auxiliary pump a power failure, loss of pressure, switch can be used. And the thermometers and the pressure gauges, these are placed where the operator can see if the heater element, pumps and coolers are working properly. Also, some temperature devices are usually in the bearings to tell if they are not uh, hot. When the gear gears are used, thermo heaters should be installed in oil outlet lines to determine the heat input of the oil in the oil. And uh, various alarm systems are there definitely in the set point. Set point is normal operating uh, parameters, normal operating uh, level. And alarms are there in the deviation from the set point and uh, sometimes shutdown will activate if the level is going high, high or low, low to provide uh, compressor, lube oil system, etc. Shutdowns are provided on larger unit to, to shut down the entire unit, compressor, driver and auxiliary equipment. The following shutdowns points may be included low oil uh, reservoir uh, uh, level, low oil pressure, high or low oil temperature, high differential pressure across the filter. These are the uh, important one to discuss but some of the time is uh, uh, instrumentation air pressure, fire and gas detector etc etc some external uh, safety and safeguard systems are incorporated with uh, uh, compressor running and lube oil system. So that is also a part of this uh, shutdown. So generally the lube oil system should continue operating when the compressor is shut down. 
compressor rotation takes time to halt, especially on large unit. During this run down, uh, run down period, oil lubricant is essential, lubrication is essential. Lube system should continue to operate at least until the compressor has stopped rotating. Even after the compressor has stopped rotating, it is desirable to continue oil circulation until all bearings, seals and equipment have cooled evenly. Also, the compressor can be restarted quickly when the circulation is continued. Most systems require a pre-lube period prior to the startup. The oil pump is activated and flow oil flows uh, through the compressor bearings for a period of time, 5 minutes or so, before the startup of the compressor proceeds. This action assures lubrication during the startup when surging and other harmful events occur. So, that is the understanding of uh, lube oil system. Now, we moving to the seal oil system. The sealing system must uh, therefore to serve two functions, prevent the gas from leaking out of the machine, provide lubricant to the moving part of the seal. So, in most machines gas enters one end at low pressure, low suction pressure and leaves the other end at a high discharge pressure. So, let us look at to sealing system. This is the seal oil tank is there, we can start from there, seal oil pump is there. So, from the seal oil pump is uh, filter uh, cooling system is there and filters are there and it is uh, this black line is it is entering to both side of the uh, sealing system the shaft connected to both side of the sealing system and it is making to the cooling that is uh, it is uh, uh, returned back and it is coming back to the uh, reservoir or seal oil tank. Some, some heaters are providing in the winter time to provide a sufficient heat of flow of this uh, oil system and it will solidify or it will make <coughs> high viscous. So, drain and other systems are there, it's not that not much important for our level. So, this is a cooling uh, seal oil system, okay. So, safeguard and shut down the seal oil system, seal oil heating element is, uh, so remember that one seal oil is giving preventing gas from leaking to the machine, out of the machine, that is a seal system providing, provide lubricant to the moving parts of the seal. So, providing lubricant for the seal oil, so here, okay. So, seal oil system should be like lubrication system, safeguarding system should be there, whenever the compressor is running and stopping time, starting time, seal oil system must be there in place. So, that's why it is providing uh, various uh, shutdown, uh, safeguarding and uh, alarming and shutdown system to make sure that when a smooth operation of a seal oil system protect the compressor. So, seal oil heating element fail, it will, seal oil system will down, low level switches, differential pressure instruments, sail glasses, seal oil temperature controller, thermometer and pressure gauges. These are places where an operator can tell if the heater element pumps and cooler working properly. So, shutdowns can happen in high oil, high and low seal oil level in storage and head tank, high and low seal oil pressure, high and low seal oil temperature, high differential pressure across the filter. So, seal oil system operate all the time when the compressor is pressurized, whether the compressor is running or not, this is to make sure that there is no leakage of the gas from the compressor. Liquid used the seal oil is often lubricating oil. Some systems are used hydraulic oil or synthetic oil that is not uh, combustible. Selection often depends on whether or not oil from inner drains can be reused, must be discarded because the contamination of from contact with the gas containing harmful impurities. Compressor bearing and seals are machined to very close tolerances that can quickly damage either. Both lube oil and seal oil must be clean. This is of particular concern on newer uh, repaired installation. Special care should be taken to thoroughly remove dirt, rust, mill, mill scale, welding slag and other solid particles from the old piping equipment in the lube oil and seal oil system. One more uh, auxiliary, compression auxiliary system we have to discuss. That is cooling system. 
compression generates heat. It is often necessary to cool the compressed gas uh, for safe efficient operation of the plant. Large compressors will consist two or more sets of emulsions mounted on a common shaft. In order to reduce the temperature rise within the, such a machine, the gas is discharged after the first stage cooled then directed to the section of the next stage. This cooling is an interstage cooler greatly increases uh, the amount of the compression gained in the next stage. The cooling medium usually water or air because the cooling will affect, affect the pressure and temperature characteristics of a gas. After each cooling stage a suction scrubber is required to remove any liquid that may have condensed because cooling. So, the cooling system is there in the compressor, uh, inlet cooler and in the compressor system and the outlet cooler is there or here like this in the uh, inlet cooler and in the compressor system and the outlet cooler is there definitely. It is it will be always uh, important and suction scrubber and cooler we have discussed that one in early and the coming session also we are discussing that. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you will understand the uh, centrifugal compressor more and more are better and better and uh, in uh, some of the future uh, videos are also included in, uh, from uh, coming from the session the centrifugal compressor. Hopefully we will uh, complete it uh, soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.